Hi, I'm Jasky from K2 Audio Visual, and we have been an interactive screen provider to education for over a decade, when interactive screens were nice to have. To today, they've become a staple in every single classroom as the main teaching technology. And over time, what has happened is there's been a lot of brands, a lot of misinformation, a lot of confusion and features and functionality. How do you know which one to buy? So today, I'm gonna to give you a checklist that's gonna make it easy for you to make the right purchasing decision when you're looking to buy an interactive screen. Here's what you need to know. All panels are the same. What do I mean by panels? A panel is the foundation of an interactive screen. The thing that gives you the image, the brightness, the resolution, the feel, what you see when you turn on an interactive screen is exactly the same across all brands. If a vendor comes to you and says, oh, my panel is better, it's untrue because there's three factories that manufacture panels that are distributed around the world. And here's a rarely advertised secret. Every panel that these factories manufacture is graded between A plus and C based on the quality of that panel. And then every interactive screen brand uses that panel and builds their screen around it. Now, the higher the rating of the panel, the less allowances for defects, the stricter the acceptance criteria, the longer that panel will last. So one of the most important questions you can ask is, what grade is this panel that I'm about to buy? So once you know that fact, then when you're making your purchasing decision, you know the most important things to focus on are size, are add-on features, what warranty you have, and the reputability of the brand. Getting the size right is the most important. You'd be surprised the number of rooms we walked into where the screen is either too big or too small for that room. Now, obviously, if the screen is too big and you're too close to the image, you can't see the entire thing and you're craning your neck and it's, it's just not a pleasant experience. If it's too small and you're too far away from the image, then you can't see what's being displayed. So getting the screen size right is imperative and probably the most important thing you can do. And doing that is very easy. It's called the 468 rule. All you do is find how far the furthest viewer is going to be sitting in that room. All you got to do is divide by four, six or eight and you get the screen height you need for that room. There is a detailed video linked below on this rule and how you can use it to make sure you get the right screen size. The thing that will make your purchasing decision so difficult is that vendors are going to give you a list of all these wonderful features an interactive screen can do. Well, this one's got 40 point multi-touch. It can split share between four participants. And in the future, it's also going to make your coffee. We've done this for so long that we realize the four main things you need to keep in mind are, does it have a built-in operating system? Does it have one touch whiteboarding? Is there screen sharing and security? Now, built-in operating system, obvious. You don't need to always bring your laptop in, plug it in to get your lesson, to get your meeting up and running. If there's a built-in operating system, press a button, start your screen, do whatever you need, and you're done. Number two is one-touch whiteboarding. And why this is important is, in most rooms, there has been a whiteboard for many years. Now we have the digital infinite version. You can collaborate, annotate, draw, as you would on a normal dry erase whiteboard, but in this case, you can save it, you can do it with several people all at once. That is a very, very powerful feature. Number three is the wireless screen sharing. Now, everyone hates plugging in cables and having set up and messing around with things. If you can quickly wireless screen share and your interactive screen has that ability built in, it saves you a lot of time, a lot of hesitancy of starting that presentation, and you can be in and out very quickly. The final add-on feature which we think is important for you to have is the ability to lock the screen. Because there's been many instances where someone's walked in like a student and put up some nefarious information or changed settings and altered your defaults. If there is an ability to lock your screen, walk away, it ensures that that can't be done. If there's any particular functionality that's important for your use case, great, you should go for it. But those are the four main add-on features which we have seen make a big difference. But be careful and mindful of 40 simultaneous touch points because those kind of things are never used. If you have three people, 
up on an interactive display working at the same time with a single finger, that is about as far as that feature is gonna be relevant to a particular one. An important part of your purchasing decision should be the reputability of the brand. And I'm sure you do this with other products that you purchase. If you're purchasing a car, you're purchasing a laptop, you're purchasing white goods. When selecting a brand, you need to be careful of vendors that import screens from China, rebrand them as their own and sell them locally. What you ideally need to keep in mind when selecting a brand is you want a brand with global presence, but local representation. A brand that's doing this globally is gonna be investing heavily in innovation which means they will do things like firmware updates over the cloud, which means your screen is getting better every single day without you needing to buy a new screen. And local representation is important because you have a representative locally that you can ask questions, you can ask for help, they have access to spare parts. And most importantly, if something is wrong with the screen and needs to be replaced, there's very minimal downtime because a new screen can be brought in in its place. The warranty you get with your product is one way that clients really get caught out because there's two types of warranty. There's on-site and there's back to base. On-site means if there's anything that goes wrong with your screen during your warranty period, someone will come on-site, fix it or replace it and then leave. Back to base means you must take that screen down, you must ship it back to that manufacturer's base, they will fix it and then return it back. So as you can tell, on-site means it's done for you. There's no downtime, there's no waiting around. Back to base means it could take several weeks without that screen in your room. Now, typical warranty periods are three or five years. Ideally, what you wanna be looking for is five-year on-site warranty, which covers you for five years and someone will come to you and fix the fault without you having to go anywhere. An important part of your purchasing decision should be what type of software does your interactive screen brand come with? So an interactive screen can be incredibly powerful if paired with the right software. For example, if you're in a classroom and you're a maths teacher and maybe you're teaching fractions today, you can actually log into a catalog of pre-built lessons and download something that you can get ready and up and running immediately. These are lessons that have been built by other teachers and software creators that come with the purchase of your screen that then unleash the full potential of the interactive screen. However, if you're in a meeting room or a boardroom and all of that is not important to you and all you essentially want is a touch screen with some whiteboarding functions, that's perfectly fine. And that can factor into your price of what type of interactive screen is suitable for you. I hope all those points have been valuable in making your purchasing decision and have served as a checklist the next time you're looking to buy an interactive screen. My final point to leave you with is selecting the right integrator for your organization's needs. So there are some vendors that will ship the screen out to you and you got to install it yourself. There are companies that will come and install and then leave and don't want any future interactions or relationships or on the other side of the spectrum where a company like us will give you training for free, quick response times, we'll ensure we have stock at hand, we don't charge for consultation, and really try and work towards a long-term relationship where our knowledge can add value to your organization. Now, I'm not saying we're right for every organization. It is important for you to pair with the right local contractor or integrator, depending on what level of support you need on that spectrum. I hope this video was valuable. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you the next time we make another one.